Schumacher, Citadel Defense. Welcome, uh, welcome here. So, I can wax political a little bit here with you. Uh, I say this in, in all the permit classes I teach, but I, but I thought this was worth uh, mentioning in a video. Uh, as you know, or maybe sh should know, or maybe you don't know, I don't know, uh, gun control does next to nothing to prevent actual crime, right? Uh, in some cases it does worse than nothing, it makes the problem worse. Different story. But uh, the one that I, the example I always like to bring up is background checks and how a standard firearms background check is worthless. Uh, the reason I pick that is because if I tell you that background checks are worthless, first time I heard that, I was like, whoa, like that's, like, you're against background checks? Like that's nuts. I mean, you're nuts. You, how, how can you be against background checks? Uh, but they're worthless. And so I picked that one because it's, it, it's a little bit jarring. And if that one is faulty, which we're going to talk about, then I think it's a, it's a pretty easy to understand how the rest don't work either. So for those of you who don't know, uh, the Brady Bill, which is what instituted background checks in this country, was passed in 1993. Now it is my understanding that it was not even enforceable until 1998 with the inception of the National Instant Criminal Background Check System, the NICS, right? Uh, so, that, that wasn't even uh, enforceable for that five-year interim. If you have more information on that, or, or if I'm incorrect, would you, would you please let me know? And I uh, would be happy to, to correct that if, if I'm wrong on that. Uh, so, that means, effectively, in this country, we've been doing background checks for about 20 years, 21 years, right? Uh, that's it. That's it. Before that, you could buy a gun without a background check. Now, first of all, most people don't know that. Second of all, what is your perception? Second of all, what is your perception? That in the past 20 years, violence, gun violence, has become more of an issue or less of an issue? Right? It's become more of an issue, right? And your perception is that, is that gun violence is way worse than it used to be. And maybe in some small things, uh, it is, right? Like there's mass uh, mass shootings are a thing now, right? Uh, active shooters are a thing now. Uh, that wasn't necessarily a thing when I was a small kid, but but now that's that's a thing. That's a thing you gotta worry about, right? Still extremely rare, uh, but it's a thing. It's a thing that we all know about. Um, overall, crime is down. Crime has been down since the 80s. You can look at a chart and it's been a a long, slow decline since the 80s. Uh, crime, crime's been coming down. So, my question is, if our perception is that gun violence is up, in reality, let's be honest, it's down. Okay, but the issue of gun violence, we all know that, the issue of gun violence, I even hate using that term, as compared to what, hammer violence? Um, the, the issue of guns in America is huge, right? It's massive. So, if background checks actually did something, like they actually prevented crimes from happening, why are guns a bigger issue now than they ever have been? Why are the people who are against guns calling for more restrictions now than they ever have been? I mean, I'm asking you, right, why? Why is it the case? And the answer is, is because background checks do nothing. They do nothing to prevent crime. Uh, you can look, you can look it up, right? But I think uh, between 1998 and 2014, about 0.6% of all firearms purchases were rejected on on a basis of they, they failed the background check, right? 0.6% of all firearms purchases that person was denied. Okay, less than one percent. Uh, and of those. Almost none were prosecuted, right? It was a, usually a former felon trying to buy a gun, and they got rejected, which, you know, is illegal. You can't do that. And then almost none of those people were prosecuted. So, what's the law there for? I'll tell you what it effectively does, is it inconveniences every law-abiding American to buy a gun, right? It's also potentially a government snoop and a Fourth Amendment issue. Uh, background checks, right? Do nothing but uh, tread on my rights, tread on your rights, and do nothing to prevent crime. 
And so, the, the, the people who want to pass these kinds of bills, their goal is ultimately the confiscation of all your guns, right? We used to be able to say that, we, when we used to say that, people thought we were crazy. I, I thought that was a crazy statement a while ago. Um, you know, I first started getting into guns and stuff, I thought that was a crazy statement. Uh, but people are coming for your guns. And, and now, they don't even hide it anymore. You know, like Eric Swalwell, who's a Democratic uh, presidential candidate, who's pulling at 0%. Good luck there, Eric. Um, he's calling for a buyback, which means gun confiscation, right? He wants to buy back, which means confiscate, uh, all of the assault weapons, which means like my AR-15, right? So, uh, they're, they're coming for your guns. It's pretty apparent, right? Uh, so, what they do is, they'll pass laws that they know are ineffective, like background checks, right? Uh, and then, with the intent of coming back to pass more laws with the ultimate goal of total confiscation. Well, we passed all these laws and none of them seem to work, so I guess we just gotta take the guns away. That That's that's where it's going. If you think I'm crazy and don't believe me, that's fine, but I would charge you to look at the evidence. Uh, and the evidence is mounting gun control laws that don't actually do anything to stop criminals from committing crimes. I have an idea. Why don't we make murder illegal? Then, there'd be no murder. Just a thought. They pass laws that don't actually stop crimes, that do infringe on your rights, as outlined in the Constitution, uh, and then, when it does nothing, their solution is more of those laws and they're gonna to continue to try to get them more and more restrictive, again, with the ultimate goal of total confiscation. So, uh, be curious to hear your thoughts on that. That's currently my take. And uh, in the meantime, do brave deeds. And endure.